Well, hello, everybody. I'm coming to you today in anticipation of your receiving an email uh, that's making a significant announcement about the future of the college. As you know, we've been working over the past year under a plan for how we, re we return to a reopened college, uh, whatever that might mean. Uh, and we're still working under that plan. So we, we started in phase one with pretty much total remote. We went to phase two some time back and that carried us through this spring term. We announced going to phase three, um, the effective the 10th of May, I think, um, with the summer term. And uh, meanwhile, we're planning for next fall. So all of this is done in anticipation of what may happen some months from now. So in consistent with all of those principles and following the best advice we get both from the CDC and from our partners at Orlando Health, the Conditions to Reopen team has recommended that we plan to go to phase four beginning in the fall. What does that mean? Phase four means that uh, not everything's going face to face and not everything's staying online. It's a dimmer switch, not a light switch. Uh, and so we're gonna begin to turn up the dimmer beginning the 1st of August. So phase four starts the 1st of August and we'll begin uh, in a designed way, which we have yet to design in many details, returning to campus um, in mixed modes and various modes so that students get served and classes get delivered with more face-to-face -face instruction and more face-to-face -face support. There's a lot of work to do to figure all that out, um, but we will figure it out together. We think this is the right time to make this decision because we've really had game-changing information over the past two or three weeks with the rate of vaccination, uh, not just of people who are most vulnerable, but now anybody over the age of 18 and soon everyone, we think that the majority of the vaccination process will be done for those who are willing to be vaccinated by the middle of the summer. And we wanna urge everyone to get vaccinated. It's just vital for the stewardship of one another's health in our community. That said, we go to phase four, the 1st of August. Phase four means we have a planned scaling up over the course of the next academic year to more face-to-face, -to, -face, to whatever the new Valencia looks like, which we'll again, design together. Kathleen, you might wanna talk about what happens with the academic schedule because that's driving the timing of this decision. We would have waited till, I don't know, June or July, but we have to put out a fall schedule now and that drives so much of our decision-making. So talk a little bit about what's happening with fall schedule. That's right, Sandy. Uh, registration for students for the fall actually begins uh, uh, the middle of May. So we're really working toward that timeline of developing our course schedule and has become our practice. We have a collaborative design team that's working on developing design principles for the fall schedule, which will inform the mix of modalities of our course offerings. And of course, we've heard from students that many are excited to return to campus and, and experience learning on site uh, and so we're looking forward to the opportunity to meeting our, our students' demands while still having uh, certainly a robust offering of online courses as well. In addition, we're looking at what services uh, will be offered on campus. And the honor, honest answer is we don't know yet. Uh, we will also have a collaborative design process to figure all of that out. We'll certainly see some on-site offerings of services. We'll certainly see a continuation of virtual offering of services and I imagine a, a hybrid or a blend in, in many instances, really looking at what serves our students needs the best, but look forward to engaging many across the college in those design conversations over the next few months. Right. So the core of the message is beginning August 1st, we're no longer in an opt-in situation. Really, uh, we make the decision together about who's on campus and when and for how long and so on. We'll still have probably the most conservative class schedule of any of the colleges in Florida, and certainly much more conservative than our university partners, but we'll begin turning the dimmer switch up. And uh, those of you who have special circumstances, we understand, we'll work with you as we have all the way through this. Those of you who have school-aged children, for example, uh, won't, they won't be returning to class till August 10th. We'll figure that out, the, that time between the first and the 10th. Uh, the planning has yet to be done in, de in detail. We're inviting many of you into that planning, but the whole college needs to know this decision really starts that planning process. So let the planning for phase four begin.